No, I was walking around trying to figure out where this tick, tick, where tick the sound came. was coming from. And I thought at first it might be an earthquake. Side. And I was looking for see if anything was making that noise. And I looked all around. And then as I was walking with my coffee in front of the a fireplace here, and I, I could actually hear it coming right from the... The sound you of the came glass. into the bedroom and got your flashlight. Yeah. And so he I says, put the coffee. Hey, you're a funny I, well, sound. Initially, initially, what I did is I, I knew I could hear the sound in there, so I gently opened the door, and then I could see a black shadow the big eyes. of the bird, and I didn't see his eyes at that you time. And what happened? So I closed <laughs> it right away. Went and got my flashlight, and then. Then we would tick, 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 like yeah. it was like an SOS, you know, help yeah, me, that, help that, me. And that was the first time I could see his eyes when I had my flashlight looking in there, and there he was perched just like he was on a limb outside. <laughs> We're having a party <laughs> yeah. here. You got the steaks on the grill? Come on. <laughs> oh, I hear it. Yeah, the mail guy we found in Mary did. Yeah, right. Good to see you. Okay. Yeah, we just, uh, okay. 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 It's awesome because uh, we're going to have a lot of parents before they flood in the trees. And we're going to see that they have good blood. And if something goes wrong, they're going to be easy to capture. Yeah, fire <laughs> She's grown a little bit Hopefully since you got her out of the fire. Well her Apricot, go! He wants to, to get acquainted with them. He'd be like, I'm going to see you. Can you turn her around? Oh. Just turn it, buddy. Yeah. Alright, you guys ready? Okay, he's ready. She's ready. Go! Here we go! Go! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, let go. I'm out of here. Uh, uh, that was a huge... Well, it's really rewarding because we pick up so many animals all the time and it's just great to actually be able to kind of give back and, you know, they're good for the area and the neighborhood because we've been talking to a bunch of the neighbors and there's lots of food for them here so it's good to get them back in their natural habitat and do something well for the community.